Right, Mr Short, let's sort all this out. Today is a big day. Paul is being prepared for surgery. He's been waiting nine months for the op. It's pretty painful, sleep-wise. If I turn over and, and catch the knee, it wakes me up and takes me a long time to get back to sleep again. Across England, there were 7.6 million outstanding treatments in June. That's the highest number since last October. It's been rising again since February. And the number of waits longer than 18 months is also up to over 58,000. Warwick Hospital is making good headway with its orthopaedic waiting list. We could tackle our waiting list much sooner. A mobile theatre and a very carefully managed list has helped. We've done 1,009 additional hip and knee replacements that we wouldn't have done had we not had the mobile theatre. And that was from July to July, so we've, the Trust have invested in this again for a further year. And um, that started on the 17th of July this year, and we've done 65 already through the Vanguard. From my point of view, we're going to start with the left side. Tim Robertson uh, leads the team today. He's going to partially rebuild both Paul's knees, and by doing two together, it means less time on a waiting list and less time in hospital. It's a routine operation, but it's anything but routine for Paul. The terms elective or planned care can sound a little bit misleading. Paul has been in agony with his knees for over three years, but once this procedure is complete, he'll be able to walk again pain-free. It will be life-changing. I would hope that this particular operation will get rid of all of his pain and give him every chance of not needing ever to have any further surgery on his knees. This is a really good operation because we're leaving a lot of the normal tissues behind. His knees very likely to feel normal and uh, allow him to get back to doing normal stuff. I'll need the white-ended one in a minute. There are more than six million struggling patients waiting for similar care. Luckily for Paul, he's not on that waiting list anymore. Ashish Joshi, Sky News in Warwick.